Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some little charms. Now I ordered this little dog mould and I think it's really really cute <laughs> but it was a lot smaller than what I thought it would be. So what I also did was I ordered these heart moulds and this is just for chocolate and you get three of these and they're really really quite cheap. I will link everything that I used today in the description below. All you need to do is check out the description. If you have trouble finding the description just click the show more underneath this video on YouTube and it'll open up the description. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these little woofies and then I'm going to put them inside these little hearts and then turn them either into pendants or charms and I'll show you everything that I do as I do it. Now I'm going to paint these with mica powder. I've done lots of videos on that so I won't go through that on this video but I will link a video where I show how to do that at the end of this one. Don't forget hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and hit that notification bell. And then it will notify you when I've got a video coming out. Videos come out about three times a week. And they're always on experiments or projects and tutorials using resin. Okay, without too much further ado, let's get on. So these are all painted now with mica powders. I've done a little golden Labrador there. A little Frenchie, a little Poodle, a Basset Hound, a little Pug, a Terrier. And I'm not sure what that one is, but there we go. So what I'll do now is I'll cast those. And once they're finished and they're ready to go into the moulds, then I'll demould them. I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I've got my resin mixed up now and I've let it thicken up and also allowed the bubbles to dissipate. I'm also pouring it quite slowly to prevent introducing any more bubbles into this. I just want to say a quick thank you to my members whose names are coming up now. And if you'd like to benefit from membership, then check the link out in the description below. There are a lot of perks for being a member. Also, if you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for all my videos and allow me to keep making these videos and to save up for my 3D printer, then the link is in the description. I'm now going to leave these for about 24 hours to cure up. So the little doggies have cured now, and so I just need to take them out to see what they go. <laughs> oh, I love these. They are just so good. Oh, I think these are going to make some great charms. I love them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now turn these into charms, the little heart charms, by placing them into here. But so they're in the middle of the heart suspended in the middle rather than just sitting on the bottom of the heart and they look quite good from even from the back so that's not a problem and I'll show you how I suspend them and then turn them and put a little hook in them and turn them into proper charm. They fit in there a treat look. Oh they're so cool. They are so cool. And you could even put the dog's names on the back if you wanted to. <laughs> Again, I've left my resin to thicken up and I'm putting it in with a pipette because I don't want too deep a layer. I only want a couple of mils layer here to give it a finish on the back. So I've allowed that to cure up for about an hour and a half now in here because I still want it to be fairly fluid to enable me to be able to position the little puppies in here once they're in there. And if I let it cure up too much, then I wouldn't be able to move them around. So I'm just popping them in. I'm giving them a little bit of a jiggle wiggle and a push down to ensure that there are no bubbles trapped underneath them because that can happen. And now they're all in there and I will leave these to cure up after I've put the top coat of resin on for about 18 hours. And again, I'm using a pipette. What I'm doing is I'm filling it so it's right to the edge and just a tiny little bit more to avoid any shrinkage and rims. And then what I'll do is I'll leave these again for 18 hours and you'll know why I'm only leaving them for 18 hours before I do the next bit to cure up. Well, these have all cured up nicely and I'm really pleased with how they've come out. <laughs> they look very cute. So let's just pop them out the mould. Yeah, they've come out lovely. Now, I could back them with something, but I actually quite like the back. But you could put a little colour on the back by dome in the back. So all clear dome the front. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you how to turn them into either a pendant or a key ring or just a charm to put on a little charm bracelet. Oh, look how cute they are. Look at the little puppies. And they've suspended in there really well. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a little hole into here where I want them to hang. And I always like them to hang kind of off centre like that. So I shall drill the little hole off centre here. But you drill it wherever you want to drill it. So I'm going to use my Dremel best tool or one of the best tools that I've got 
Oh, it makes life so much easier. I don't want to go too deep, but I always drill a little hole first because then that allows me not to split the resin when I'm putting the little screw loop in. There we go. So they're all nicely drilled in. I'm just going to take some of the little tiny hooks that we've got here. Those and screw those in. And all I do with those is I pinch them between my little jewelry pliers, put it in there like that, and don't push it, screw it in, because that way you get a much better grip. You're not likely to split it. And if you've done it when the resin isn't quite cured, so it's still a little bit flexible after about 18 hours, as it cures up, it will really grip nice and tight onto that there. So I'll go ahead and do the rest, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how I finish them off. Okay, so I've got all those uh, little screw loops in, or whatever they're called, and I'm going to use a push bow on this one, and all I'll do here is I will push the little ends in, push it together, and that will be enough on there. And I just need to pop in my cord. And there we go. There's a nice little pendant made quite easily with that one and to do a key ring if you want to do them on a key ring and these aren't at all heavy which is great and because we overfilled them there is th that is completely flat there is no shrinking gap from it no rough edges or anything which is really nice it saves so much work so i'm going to pop that on there like so i'm going to put a little tassel on it because sometimes I like those on key rings. And then I'm going to pop the actual key ring bit on it. And I will list everything in the description below. Don't worry. And if you can't find the description, just click the show more underneath the video. And then that'll open up the description. And then it will show you where everything is. And there we go. There's <laughs> a little key ring. I do like them. I think they're so sweet. And like I said, they're not at all heavy. So to be perfectly honest, you could wear them as earrings. And this is what they look like as earrings. And I think they look quite cute as earrings. I, could, I think they're quite fun. Um, I told all my members at the last live stream my story of my ear piercing and how my mum reacted when I was a kid. So yeah, you can use them as earrings. Look. And I think they look quite Cute. So let me know what you think of these in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear your comments on them or how you would use them. Please hit the like button because it really helps my channel to get out there. And also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Give it a knock so that you're notified when I release a video. Check out the video that's coming up next. I'll link a video on how to make and put together all different sorts of resin jewellery and tips and tricks on that. And that's going to be really useful and the tools that you need. Everything I've used today, I will link in the description below. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.